Okay, Nick, this is from our lesson last Monday, and I want you to I want you to watch your head, okay? I want you to try to visualize where your eyeballs are and where they're looking. When I slow it down, you can really tell a lot better than these fast ones right here, but you kind of see that you're just kind of looking out ahead of the ball. You're looking at the ball, but you're not really tracking it to the bat like I want you to. And like I showed you in the last video, you have to you have to practice that kind of of mechanics when you're you know at home and you have to kind of imagine you're making contact with the ball and your head's gonna be looking right down at the bat and the ball making contact. It's hard to do, but you know that's what you've got to do. You'll see this is very slow. You can see your eyes, but it's like you know, your head's a little bit out front, not tracking the ball the final, the final, you know, foot or so. You're getting better at it. You can tell right there you were looking at the ball making contact with the bat. But you need to do that every time. I want you to look now at this swing. I want you to watch your back foot. You see how that does right there? How you really get your energy going towards the the ball, that's very good. Watch it again. Watch your foot that's closest to the catcher, you know, where the catcher would be. See how you're getting that energy going towards the ball? And that's that's how you build and make a good swing on a pitch. So I want you to put good swings on every pitch that you get. I want you to be on time. And you can't really tell if you're on time from a side view, but you can definitely tell that you got good extension. And as you went through this exercise of hitting, you got better and better. And we move the camera behind you, you can see the pitcher, what he's doing, and you can also see what you're doing as a hitter. So you can see the pitcher right now. He reaches back, and then you see your foot. If you go back and look at this video a couple of times, you can see, and I'll slow down a few more for you to see, okay? So you can see when the pitcher starts to go back you'll now look at your your foot your foot doesn't start coming up to the balls in the air and it's like you're a little bit late and if you would start your movement start your movement right there you wouldn't be a little bit late you know you got the bat head around a little bit better because you were you started just a fraction earlier and if you look Go back, watch this on the video, and stop it about right there. You can see that you're not starting on time. You know, you're starting when the ball's in the air, and you can just, when your front foot lifts up in the ground, you can push the pause button. I'm going to slow this next one down, and I want you to watch your foot that's closest to the pitcher. You don't really get it up until it's about halfway to you, and you really rush. And it jams you. It, it gets you on the inside. It was a little bit inside, but it jams you. I want you to work on getting your timing. When my hand goes back, that's when you start to dance with the pitcher. And you'll be on time. Okay, buddy. See you next week.